Hi, everybody. Welcome to the uh, January 27th. Yeah, Asia Pacific call. I was wondering about dates. I was doing a quick date thing in my head to make sure that was the right date for everybody. March 340th for us. Yeah. So, no, it's over now. So oh, right, right. That's right. We Brian, Brian Warner shut down the site. So we fixed the glitch. Excellent. It's, yes. Um, so uh, welcome. I put the minutes in the chat. If you could click on that link and add yourself to the minutes, that would be great. Thank you very much. So I went back through the items from last time. Um, and I think we have, you know, we have a few um, things that are helping move us forward in, in this new year. Um, so I think the first thing that I'd like to talk about is uh, social media in China. And Shoya, if you have microphone capabilities, yeah. it would be great if you could kind of tell us what you're doing with that. Uh, can you guys hear me? Yes, yeah. I can hear you. OK, OK. Uh, yes, the first update is from my side uh, is we created uh, the social uh, uh, a new kiosk account uh, we call it kiosk community and it's a WeChat official platform uh, it's a WeChat official account and WeChat is um, the, almost the most popular social uh, instant communication platform in China um, and the official platform is used for um, specifically uh, for um, promotions and something like that. And we already had uh, one post and I put the link in the minutes of it. Thanks for setting that up, Shoya, for sure. Um, I think maybe I have a few questions just logistically and um, this is with Elizabeth too. So if if we have the WeChat channel, I'm guessing the audience is mostly Chinese. Is that correct? Yes, I think it's still mm, with yes. Chinese. Okay. So and the goal would be to use the social the, to use WeChat um, to to reach our our friends in China. So we would need to constantly translate what we send to our English channels to Chinese, right? I mean, would, would the idea to be to mirror what we send to say Twitter here to also send it to WeChat? Uh, that could be one form, but um, the, the, the form of WeChat output is not exactly like uh, what we put on Twitter because it's not usually short messages, but instead it's a, um, an article as an output form. Okay. So, I don't know, Elizabeth, do you have any thoughts on kind of connecting all of these things? In my, my, <laughs> I have, John or anybody, my Chinese, I guess. I've, I've had a number of Chinese graduate students and they all use WeChat to communicate with their friends. It's not unavailable to us. In the United States. Yes, actually, we really recommend and we really hope like you guys can register for a yeah. chat account. But uh, I think it, it, it you should use a phone number for registration. So we're not sure if it's uh, related to some personal information. You say just a phone number as opposed to our names? Is that what you're suggesting? No, you, you must use your phone number and uh, uh, on the platform will send you a verified code and uh, the whole account is based on your phone number. Every time you log in, uh, your your account name is your phone number. And uh, you don't need a password. Uh, uh, he will send you a verified code through, through the phone. All right. That makes complete sense to me. I've never used it, but I, like I said, I know a lot of my students do. I have it, but I've only used it to like message with my friends in Europe. Um, so I didn't even really realize that you could blast a, a public kind of article 
with it. So I'm not, I'm not cool. Apparently <laughs> I'm old and I'm not cool and I don't know what this stuff is. So, um, uh, I think that sounds great. Like if, if someone in the Chinese community kind of wants to own that or take, take kind of control of it and make sure that, you know, messages are going out. Um, I'm happy to work with them if we do want to try to mirror our efforts, but, um, Shoya, like you said, it, it doesn't have to be that way since the, the platforms are a little different Twitter versus, but if we had a blog post or something like that, that would, that would be appropriate to put out there. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. I think cool. blog post is one thing. And, um, the weekly report, we can also translate them into Chinese and, uh, as one of the uh -huh. And then my other question um, was, uh, I'm, I'm not sure how you want to handle it since it has to be connected to uh, an individual person. Like, does that, um, you know, does that make, yes. is, is that awkward? Does that make you feel uncomfortable? I'm not sure, you know, like how that works. So if there's something we can do to help that, I, I don't know what the answer is to that. Uh, this account is now currently used my own email address um, for the registration, but I can transfer that to an, a more official, like a, a email address that belongs to Chaos, and um, um, the, the the account can, I mean the platform, the Chaos community WeChat platform can be um, can be. Can be sorry, final word. Public. Can be operated by by several people. Yeah, I, mean, you... I can set set um, um set some of the community members as administrators, and we can um operate the platform, operate the account together. I think the WeChat public. Uh, um, let's, uh, I think it's like operated like the Facebook account. Uh, when you on the Facebook, you can see that some, uh, some uh, like public operators to, to run uh, uh, accounts to publish some articles and uh, some advertisements. Uh, and it's an, uh, maybe a non uh, article. Uh, it's not uh, just some short messages. Uh, I think it's uh, uh, more likely to be a Facebook account. That's my opinion. Yeah, not that only, makes total sense. <laughs> uh, not only uh, you can post the uh, 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 article, you can also post the uh, Im uh, image or uh, video content. Videos. So, yeah. Yeah. So, 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 and it supports, uh, I think it supports uh, more than three uh, uh, long time uh, administrator. Uh, so, so, so basically, uh, if someone uh, cannot handle the, the, uh, the content uh, himself, he can ask help for, from others. Okay. I'm trying so, to create an account right now while we're talking about this. Just... Oh. So, yeah. So, do, do you know the Open Chain Project? Uh, do you know Open Chain Project? Uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, I can show you the. This is the uh, the Open Chain Project founder, Shen Kogler. He is uh, have a WeChat account, a personal WeChat account. He establish a group and uh, add uh, almost uh, more than 100 people uh, who is uh, Chinese people. And uh, he can publish the uh, published inf information here in the group and uh, we can uh, get the uh, get the information uh, immediately. And uh, this is the personal account. And uh, Xiaoya uh, is the, uh, open the uh, public account. So uh, somebody is interested in chaos, uh, they can focus and uh, watch uh, the uh, that uh, public account. And uh, yeah, we can uh, we can uh, promote. We can uh, oh uh, sorry, we can 
uh, we can uh, write some article, uh, some picture, video, and uh, episode, episode, uh, 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 and blog, uh, blah blah blah. So yeah, I think it's a very uh, very useful, and uh, uh, maybe in Chinese, in China, it's most useful, uh, most useful way uh, to uh, promote the chaos in, in China. I, I think. Okay. WeChat official account is almost the main channel for most of the Chinese people to receive information or news. Something like that. Uh, right. It has several kinds of accounts, and the personal account is used by uh, to connect with your friends and your families and uh, uh, your your co co workers. And uh, what we create for Chaos is an official account, and this is designed by uh, designed for organizations, yeah, for some promotions and um, uh, outputs. This, I, this makes sense. Um, so I, I think the next step is to kind of coordinate with certainly Elizabeth, like to have, <laughs> to be part of the account, if we can have multiple administrators on the account and I can do it or Sean could do yep. it as well. But we have a couple of people that are involved as administrators on the account. And maybe we just start there. Yeah. Um, it sounds like is it okay if we if we are posting in English to the WeChat account? Or very awkward oh. Google translations, I suppose. Yeah. All right. Yeah, sure. You like you can you guys can sure post um, using English, and, but I think uh, we can help with translate into Chinese because okay. the readers are really uh, Chinese. So if we use only English, uh, they may get com confusions. Yeah, you know the 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 WeChat WeChat has the the function named the translator, so you can say this is uh, shares English English article. Uh, text I can translate into Chinese. Just use this function. Okay. Okay, that's helpful. <laughs> well, getting back to Shangao's point, that most of most of the people consuming this are are going to be Chinese, and I think it's probably better if we let our Chinese colleagues here on the call drive most of the communications. I mm -hmm. think it's good for multiple people to have access to it in case you know in case somebody loses a project or something, so that we have multiple administrators. I think that's a really good idea. But I think it would be better if, if it wasn't necessarily us trying to post in English. I think it would be better if, you know, if our Chinese colleagues posted in their native language. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, we, we, we could uh, uh, set up uh, a process to uh, translate to the blog or even the weekly reports into Chinese. And so in this way, we Last have year, a- Last year, Willem, did I? Am I the yeah. only one? Uh, sorry. So, so, so in this way, we 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 can um, uh, get the enough uh, content uh, materials uh, for the uh, WeChat uh, articles. I think that's a great idea. Um, if uh, I usually post the newsletters on Mondays, but if there's a better day, because it's usually about late morning on my time on Mondays. So if there's like if we have a Chinese um, a part of our community that wants to take that every week and translate it and post it, um, that's completely fine. I love that idea. And just let me know if there's a better day to do that on, like if Sundays would be better then I can do that to give a little, you know, does that make sense? Yeah. So like Sunday's US time would be more like Monday is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. I think the, the time is fine. Uh, uh, if we can uh, post it regular every week, uh, that should be fine. And uh, from my experience, I, I, I'm, I'm running the uh, uh, ALC uh, Beijing uh, public uh, account uh, for a while. We have uh, 
40 uh, articles. And uh, it's looked like we, uh, um, I can uh, keep post uh, uh, the articles uh, once a week. Uh, it, it should be fine. And uh, we got uh, uh, 1,500 uh, subscribers. And uh, mostly the article uh, were read uh, around uh, 400 uh, page review, I think. So, so that's is roughly the, the data. But uh, um, now time, I, I, I just found uh, there's an interesting thing uh, about uh, the video content. If we can have a short video to introduce the kiosk, uh, we, we will get a lot of uh, audience. Um, now I just uh, tried to po uh, try to post uh, uh, Apache Software Foundation's uh, document uh, 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 document um, video. It, it, it's only uh, two minutes, and now it's got uh, uh, near uh, two hundred uh, thousand two hundred thousand uh, view. So so so, and uh, I got about two hundred uh, like. So I uh, just about two weeks ago. So I, I think this this is very good. Uh, uh, I was testament to 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 build awareness of the RT Software Foundation, and uh, I think we can do the same things for the chaos. So if we have the short video um, to to introduce the things, uh, just around uh, one to two minutes, I think is. It should be fine, and uh, uh, we will get a lot of people to know about that. That is great. That is a fantastic idea. I love that. I don't know if there's also any of the videos that we did for um, the meetup or the workshop back in December that we could use and post. That would be great. And I and I don't know. Like the one I did is pretty long. It's like five minutes. So. Um, it might be better if it's, you know, uh, someone from our Chinese community, just a, a quick one, like you said, one minute um, intro to chaos. Um, so if we have somebody that wants to volunteer to do that, that would be amazing. <laughs> That's really fascinating, too. That video is, is really popular in that platform. I love that. That's really helpful. Yeah, yeah uh, I, I just found uh, uh, um, it's more like uh, uh, TikTok. So, so if you don't have a lot of uh, audience, but uh, you have a great content, you can attract a lot of uh, new guys to follow you. And uh, I, I, I just found I have 200 followers uh, in three days just by uh, posting the, the, the uh, video across a certain kind of group. And they, then they will uh, forward to, to, to another place. Shoya, in answer to your earlier question about if there's a more official chaos, like phone number or, or something that we can link to, we don't really have one. Um, so I don't, I still don't know how to solve that problem of it, you know, being t tied to you personally, if you, if you don't want that. Um, I don't know how to solve that issue. Oh, I think it's okay uh, if we can, uh, I think it's okay for me to temporarily use my own email address as, on, as I can set you maybe um, two other folks as administrators. Yeah. Okay. I, I put my WeChat ID in the, next to my name after I created it while we were talking. Yeah, to set you as administrators, um, I need you to have a WeChat account first. I have one, I just can't log in. So as soon as I can figure oh. out, I don't know what my password, like I haven't logged in in forever. So as soon as I figure that out, I'll send it to you, Shoya. Okay, okay. So Sean, I, I think you can change your uh, ID with uh, some human readable format. Oh, I can actually change, I, I, like I was not, you know, like like I said, never been before. So I um, think I have oh. to be on mobile to change it. I can change it in a human readable. That's All right. a really good idea. So it sounds like we've made progress on this, which is cool. Um, thank you 
so much, Shoya, um, for your efforts in this. <laughs> Very much appreciated. Um, so it sounds like the next step is getting a few other people as administrators on the account and then trying to find um, community members in China who can help with the posting and sharing of the content, I think has been brought up, which I think is a really good point as well. Is that about right? All right, cool. Um, the, I'm gonna, uh, I could, sh I'm gonna skip translations on the agenda for just a second. Um, I'm gonna go to the Git E work. And Sean, I don't know if you're doing WeChat stuff, but I was, this is- I'm listening. Okay, so so in the the community call yesterday, we talked about the pieces of software. So for example, Grimoire Lab or Augur to run longer workshops or meetups to really work on technical problems associated with the software. And for a long time, we'd been running uh, Augur and Grimoire Lab meetings, and they were about an hour. And they, they couldn't really get a lot done in that amount of time. And um, it was at most like an update and discussion of desires, but it, it didn't provide an opportunity for engagement for, so, for people yeah. who wanted to do technical work. I think it's the that's the limit we found. So I so Sean had proposed running a basically a half day um, workshop or meetup, whatever you want to call it, to actually take on technical issues, kind of in real time. And Giddy would, you know, creating a Giddy worker would be one of them. Yeah, so that's actually I was thinking that. So we there's a certainly a, a demand for, yeah, for sure. uh, these these Giddy workers, and I was wondering if maybe for this first Augur meetup, or even a couple, could be focusing on developing that Giddy worker. And this goes it to the point be, yeah. of it uh, certainly could be because be Matt Bro Matt Broberg had brought up that it's better to have kind of an agenda <laughs> and a focus Agreed. on these meetups, and sure. maybe that would be a really good candidate. And well, I mean, so what's right now? This is what time? This is pretty late in China, right? In the evening. Uh, yeah. Ten. Have it's a, a have ten. Ten, ten thirty. Thirty. Yeah. <laughs> So I might want to I might want to do some that are optimized for that time zone. I just have to figure out what what that can be. So, so it's a half day or whole day. I I don't think it's suitable for a whole day. Maybe half we, day. Um, it's like yeah, it's a half day. Um, I think this we just, you know people can show up on time and show up at like a fixed time so we can start together and then stay as long as you like. Um, our, I, I would, I don't know culturally what is it a better to do on a weekend day or better to do it during the week before or after business hours. Um, what would be a, an appropriate time of the week and time of the day for you all? I, I think uh, weekend should be fine. Just around. Uh, uh, Thursday and maybe Thursday morning, your, your, your time. And I'm, I'm not sure. And so, so if it's a, a half day, uh, you know, three hours, I, I think it could be more easier for us to find a suitable time. And you, and you said a weekend day, did you say, or a week? You said, did, did you say Thursday? Uh, uh, we, weekend, weekend. Weekend, like a Saturday. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's morning and in China, better. Yeah. Uh, it's it's really depends on, on everyone's time. But I, I, I think I'm free on on uh, on morning and uh, uh, evening it should be fine. Okay. Um, um right now I'm just kinda looking to whenever I go to Asia I I get very time zone confused, so I just have to orient okay. myself. <laughs> <laughs> I see there are a couple of options here. So one of them is the time, but the other time might be the 
the other way around, so early in the U.S. Yeah, so um, 14 hours ahead. Late in, in Shanghai, in China. Yeah, so Saturday, Saturday morning, like at 8 o'clock, would be 6 o'clock on Friday night. That's not bad. I don't think that's right. I don't think no. Saturday Saturday yeah. translates to Friday night. I think it's the opposite. Uh, my my uh, website says it's ten thirty five on Wednesday. Ten thirty five ten thirty p.m. on Wednesday right now, right? Is that where you are? Yeah, ten p ten thirty p.m. now. Yeah, Beijing time. It says. I'm at, and it says the, so you're, it says the uh, Beijing time is 14 hours ahead of mine. So if I add four, if I add, if I say 6 p.m. on Friday night, that's 8 a.m. on Saturday morning in China, I think. 6 p.m. I can figure. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. in China, and there, uh, and it is. Yeah, it's 6 a.m. I think in China that time. No, 6 p.m. in, in uh, North America should be 8 a.m. in China. In, so, yeah, we're Central Standard Time in the, U, the U.S. And so um, you don't do daylight savings time. So it'll be 15 hours ahead. Yeah, 50 hours. In a while. OK, um, can I? suggest some dates and and have those uh circulate those perhaps on the wechat or in uh, a chaos email i don't think i yeah i don't think i can figure it out right now for for the china time i think uh, but, I, but i'm thinking i'm thinking like a, is 8 a.m too early on a saturday morning or too late what's i mean what a what's a good time on a saturday uh I think it's okay for me. <laughs> is it too <laughs> early for I, some people? Like in the United States, if I ask some of my developers to get up at 8 a.m., they'd like, it's <laughs> like, yeah, right. On a Saturday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they'd be more like, yeah, I get up at 11 if, if you want to talk to me. <laughs> or if you want to meet earlier, I can get up at 11. It is. <laughs> it's usually but it's, uh, <laughs> I, uh, just because I, I have a daughter, I, I, I used to get up uh, late, but now That's I have a good habit. Yeah. <laughs> good habit. Um, <laughs> uh, shocking replication of yourself is what how I experience parenting. <laughs> <laughs> everything where everything I did wrong, I will observe my children do. So. All right, um, I will. I will make. I'll commit to a, a time maybe later on Saturday morning uh, to a, enable greater participation, and I will. I will circulate that in a chaos email after I talk a little bit with Elizabeth about it, because I, I think the North American hackathon might be at a different time than the Asian hackathon, and I think that's okay. Um, All right, great. Um, okay, so Shine, you're going to just circulate. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to email Elizabeth because I'm, I was going to see kind of some. I have some ideas overnight uh, about how to promote it, and I want to get her advice as well. Okay. I mean, I, I don't pretend to be um, not, you know, I don't have the I don't have the experience or the kind of experience so I will rely, I will talk to her. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, so now I'll go back up. So just so um, folks on the call know, we I'll share my screen. Um, we have a GitHub repo that has all the translations of the chaos metrics in both Spanish and Chinese. 
And so our process is when we do a metrics release that is happening, it happens twice a year and the next metrics release is happening very shortly. The, the website will have all of the metrics in English, at least for right now. And a PDF will also be available for all of the metrics in English. A different PDF will be available for all of the metrics in Spanish. And a PDF will be available for all of the metrics in Chinese. So we have these professionally translated. So I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, by professionally, it means like, yeah, we don't speak Chinese or read it. So if you could tell us if somebody's playing a joke on us, and right. <laughs> this is actually we, like pride and prejudice or something. That we paid paid for a horrible trend. And so we will release these um, again as a PDF in Chinese and Spanish and in English. Every time a new metric in a working group is developed. So for example, in the common working group, there were two metrics that were just developed. Um, those new metrics won't be part of the um, the next release. So if two metrics are developed like today, they won't be part of this next release that's happening in like a month or two months. Um, they'll actually wait a cycle because we'll have the full metric translated um, by an organization. What we would need help with is occasionally metrics um, Occasionally, metrics have small changes to them. So there's, say, a new filter that's added, or the description is slightly updated. What would be helpful is if we can get support in translating these small changes to the metrics. So if I stick with common, you know, say that, that in that working group, there was a sentence that was added to the description just to provide clarity. We would just need, we would ask for assistance in translating just that sentence and we can add it to the translated metric. So the challenge I think that we will have with the Chinese translations is that I don't know that if I'm right, GitHub is easily accessible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's three yeses. <laughs> so, um, so we, we might need to think of a, a way that that we can signal that we need some help, maybe translating just a sentence, and maybe we can just rely on Google Translate for this. I don't know what people's thoughts are on this. For Spanish, it's really not that that big of a deal because we can just add an, a new issue that asks for help. But for Chinese, it's a little bit different. So I don't know if people have thoughts as to how we could signal that we need some support mm -hmm. and say translating a new block of text in one of the metrics. I I I just go uh, through. Uh, I think there's uh, some uh, uh, Google uh, uh, GitHub uh, uh, applications to help you to uh, process the translation things more easily. Uh, uh, m maybe we we can do some uh, uh, investigation or or, or 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 try some uh, simple repo to. To, to just to let uh, the, the application to catch up uh, the the trench of the uh, metrics. So so in this way, it it could be more easier for us to find out which part needs to be trenched. So that's where I'll save us a lot of time. 
to, okay. to track the trench. That makes sense. So I can check that out a little bit. Yeah, yeah that, that's one thing. I um, Another comment here is that I, I was reading before uh, the Spanish translations and so on. So the other thing that we may perhaps take care of is like the, the way the text is already written down. So then how we can use a similar vocabulary or so that's all. So for instance, in Spanish, we can say uh, contributor right, in a couple of ways. So I, and, and the way this is written down in the text is the other way I, I would have not chosen, but I mean, I probably probably that's because uh, Spanish here in Spain and South America or Central America or how Spanish is uh, learning in any other areas of the world. But, So translations are hard. <laughs> the process is really hard. I, <laughs> um, I, I don't know. Um, so like I in your, the, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, sorry Mike. I, I think a translator is a good opportunity for someone who wants to deeply comprehensive with the chaos metrics. I think it's a very useful way. and. The, uh, I think uh, we can uh, update. We can uh, we can pull request the GitHub uh, the, the translation uh, translator Chinese uh, repo. We can update it. Yeah. Uh, uh, we can, uh, for example, William and uh, Clement and Xiaoya and me. We can review it and uh, update uh, the pull request to the repo. I think. Yeah. Would be so the. That would be fantastic. So I think the offer is to to take a look at the translations that are already done, and kind of to Daniel's point, if there's uh, grammatical errors or kind of errors in um, presentation, that just a PR could could be done to solve those issues, even in GitHub. Is that right? Yeah, that'd be fantastic. So, uh, sorry. go ahead. Oh, well, I didn't mean there are there are grammatical errors or so. It's just ways of saying the same, but written down in different ways. So it's like it sounds more from different countries, but that's all. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So maybe in your case, Daniel, like the the way that contributor is presented is not a blocker to understanding the metric. So no pull request is required. Um, but if if there is something that's fundamentally wrong with the translation. And maybe a, a PR against that markdown would solve the issue. Okay. All right. So I'll, I'm gonna I'll post a couple issues in here. Um, Elizabeth, do you have a comment too? I was just gonna say if um, if we <clears throat> use the chaos organization, we can maybe set up a team that's translated, and then just mention the team, and then who's ever as a part of that team would get a notification. That was all I was gonna say. So in the issue, you tag the team, is that right? Yeah, I'm fairly certain that's how it works. Um, okay. That way, whoever wants to come and go on the team can do that. Um, okay. And it can, it can change. And then we don't have to remember, you know, who, is, who am I supposed mm -hmm. to be tagging on this? You can just tag the whole translation team. Or you know Chinese how to do that? Team. Do you know how to? Build a team. I've never done that. Yes, I can do that. Okay, so then it's just assigning their GitHub IDs to that team. Okay, cool. Yeah, I actually do that in my classes. Seems like something I should know how to do. <laughs> it's okay. it's kind of hidden, honestly. Okay. It's at the it's at the organization level that you have to create the teams. It's not at the repo level, and you can assign roles at the, team, at the repo level. So it's it's not totally straightforward how you do it. OK, so it looks like King has a GitHub account. Yeah, um, I, I put the link into the dialog. You can see this is the link is our Asia Pacific meeting. I, I have translated it into Chinese. Uh, yeah, you can see it. 
I see that. Thank you. Yeah, I, uh, uh, we have, uh, okay, I can see it. We have almost the four or five, uh, five meetings here. Yeah, yeah. I can show you. Yeah, I, I, I tag it. I, I write it the number, uh, the, the, date, the date. You can see it. I write the date on the, on the Markdown fair name. This is our uh, meeting, meeting note. <laughs> I have translated. Yeah, I saw that. Thank you. I didn't. I didn't know you were doing that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and uh, I think we can firstly uh, define some terms. Uh, if we uh, first we define some terms that the grammar is not a challenge. Uh, I think the terms, uh, the meaning of the terms, like the robust or other uh, health or some uh, some words that is the uh, important one in translation because we can uh, get together uh, put our minds together to, to translate it um, so uh, we put the words together and then we get some mm, uh, uh, some words or other things that we can translate a, a sentence so I think the, uh, we must define some the important terms in the chaos uh, metrics. So that's the first. Is there any say important terms? What do you mean? Uh, I think that's just uh, 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 what's the what, way, what's the house? Yeah. Uh, Actually, I, I, I have a repo that, that, that you guys can have a, have a look. Um, there, um, in LC Beijing, we translated some um, Apache uh, blog uh, post and uh, some uh, web page of the Apache. So, so we uh, collaborate. Uh, um, we have a bunch of volunteers to help us to uh, do some translation things. And uh, uh, in in that repo, there's uh, we we have a, a workflow and uh, uh, a guide and uh, uh, define some uh, uh, glossary. Uh, so 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 in this way, uh, people can, uh, especially uh, some students can can help themselves to do some translation. And uh, um, now. Um, uh, there's, uh, I, I think there's uh, 40 pe people uh, contribute uh, to this project. So maybe we can we use these kinds of things uh, in chaos. Um, so, so, so to set up uh, uh, a translation uh, flow and then uh, help us to, um, I, I think uh, it, it could, may, may, may take some time because we have different uh, 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 requirements. Uh, uh, now um, we, we just need to uh, translate the daily, uh, weekly report or the bo uh, blog post. Uh, if, that, if, it, if that's uh, uh, um, for, for these kinds of tasks, I, I, I think it's pretty much straightforward. We, uh, we just need to find some volunteers or just to uh, uh, let some people to uh, review the, uh, the translated uh, uh, articles. Uh, um, but, uh, but I think we, we can collaborate uh, through the uh, GitHub. Right, this sounds good. And I think, um, Sean, to, to Clement's point, it's, Helping translate like terms that are okay. like health, right. health, right, right, yes, or pull request. Like they may not, How they're translated I, one to one right now, and they may yeah, not. Uh -huh. That may not. There's probably some American and and Western idiom embedded in the way that we've described things that may yeah. not work. Okay, now I'm, I'm now I'm with you. I, I lost it for a minute there, but now I now I see yeah. exactly. Yeah, sometimes we 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 don't yeah. translate. Uh, 
uh, yeah. especially for the PR, uh, 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 the, the pull request, <laughs> if we translate it, it's, it's uh, 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 Chinese. Uh, I, I think it's not the best <laughs> word. So, it, so, it's so hard, we don't hard translate them. <laughs> It's hard to understand in Chinese. Yeah, we just use the PR or issue because issue is sometimes it means problem, it means requirement, and uh, we have we can't uh, in Chinese to to translate it. So, yeah, I agree with William. So sometimes you you can see my. From my blog, uh, I translated into Chinese. I, I never translated the PR and the issue. <laughs> this is all extremely helpful. Um, so thanks for everybody's uh, insights and thoughts on this issue, because I think it's super important. Um, so sometimes it feels like we're slowly working our way through it, but I think we're making progress. So thank you again for everybody. Um, we're at the end of our, our time, so uh, we'll continue to work on this process to help with the translations. Uh, King, I got your, in the minutes, I put a link to your GitHub repo for the Chinese translation, so thank you for that at the top, so we can always have that translation. Um, so again, thanks for everybody. I think we have a few things that we can work on, um, and we'll see you. Uh, one last thing I want to say is uh, if you... Yeah. If Sean, uh, Matt, or either this or and any other community members who have set up their WeChat account, please email me the account address and I can send it as a Cool. I'll do that right when we get off this call. Okay. I will too. All right. Thank you, everybody. It's good thank to you. see everybody. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 See you.